Thanks for hanging in. I want to talk to you um, about some personal stuff, really, about this channel. I started this channel years ago. I think it was 2009. And at first, when I started this YouTube channel, it was mainly a low-budget news service. There was a guy named Dave Ridley in New Hampshire who's still pretty active on YouTube that made liberty-oriented news for the North. It was pretty much New Hampshire based. Well, no one was really doing it in the South, so I started a channel and kind of copied what he did and did it for the South. And for the most part, it was really successful. It took off. But after a few years of, you know, hotbed political stuff, I kind of got burned out on it, honestly. It was um, preaching to the choir. And my taste evolved, and I started getting more into self-sufficiency things like gardening, how to grow your own food, how to build a house. And so I started putting that stuff up on the channel, and that did really well, too. But since I was a doctor, I would always get all these health questions, and I was like, okay, I guess I should make some health videos. And so I put those up at the channel, too. Now, the thing is, is um, the channel kind of evolved over all these years to whatever I was interested in at the time. The problem with that is it doesn't create a real concise market. The viewers, some of the health viewers don't care about the gardening or the political stuff, vice versa. But there are so many people in the world um, that I know that there's enough people in my niche that kind of are interested in the same things I'm interested in uh, that I believe I could build an audience of that. So my channel kind of became a variety channel, honestly. Now, the hard part is um, a lot's changed. See, I got paid from YouTube and did okay. It, you know, it was enough to, to pay the rent. But what happened is um, I get paid when you watch the little ad up front. When you go to these videos, and uh, most males under 30 or 40 now put on an ad blocker. So they block the ad, and then I don't get paid. So I get that. Ads are annoying. I get it. But it took a big dent out of... Uh, what I'm able to do uh, as far as financially and how many videos I can put out. So in response to this, what a lot of YouTubers did is turn to cyber begging where they uh, set up a Patreon account. If you don't know what that is, it's um, kind of like a viewer funded account. Now the first people I know that did something like this was way back, I think around 2004. Uh, there was a radio show that was just kind of like a radio show podcast called Free Talk Live. And they would ask their viewers to send them 3 to $5 a month. They called it an AMP fund. And what would happen is they would reinvest that money into the show. And it was wildly successful. They were getting, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month to build their show. And they would advertise with it or buy satellite receivers or whatever they did with it. But they were the kind of the first people way before Patreon that were doing it. So I know the model can be successful if you have enough super fans, but I don't really have super fans. I have people that kind of drift in and out. I've got a few people that talk to me and leave comments, which I really appreciate, by the way, but I don't have a huge fan base. The thing is, is because of ad blocking and because of people moving the mobile phones, it's hard for me to make a living on YouTube, and I'm putting out a lot more content, and I'm still about making uh, even less. You know, I'm having to put massive amounts of content up the last few months for me. Uh, and I'm still not making that much money. So I'm wrestling with the idea, should I do a Patreon account? Because a lot of these YouTubers, in response to ad blocking, just said, okay, well, I'll see if people would be cool enough to give me money and do a Patreon account. Maybe they donate for some perks. If you don't know what that is, um, uh, like if you, if you go to a Patreon page, there's a lot of people that use them, artists especially. You, they will give you perks, uh, things that you get, like special content or um, maybe a Google Hangout where you can actually get on and talk to the person, things like that. So I kind of want to try it, but I honestly don't know if I have a big enough fan base for it. So I'm curious to if you guys have any other ideas on how to make a living at YouTube. I'd really like to do this full time. I don't mind putting out four or five videos a week. Um, I feel like, you know, over time my videos have gotten much better. When I first started I was just running around with a crappy camera trying to get some news footage. 
and I upgraded my camera over the years. I took classes on learning how to film and do sound and I tried to make documentaries and I've gotten better at better at it over the years. And now I try to put up very high quality stuff. Um, but sometimes I just don't, I can't seem to get uh, enough market to find these high quality things. I'm hoping that as I develop fans that they'll go into my back catalog and find some of the, the better stuff I did. The crazy thing is a lot of people seem to make money on YouTube just being what this is, is a talking head is what it's called. If you go and look at my videos, they're usually, heck, you most of the time don't even see me in the videos. Just like at the end asking you to, uh, to sign up. A lot of time you might hear my voiceover or something like that, but it's very polished documentary style. I try to put a lot of production value. But what's nuts is someone can sit in front of a camera, just talk to you like this for 10 minutes, and they can make a really good living if they do this five, six times a week. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Do I switch to more talking head stuff and really just talk to you about what's on my mind? Or do I keep making high style documentary style things that are kind of evergreen where, you know, people can surf in any time and, and it's relevant? I'm really at a crossroads and I'm not sure what to do. I, I'd like to make this a full-time job, but it's not paying enough. And I'm wondering if I should bring in outside funding with Patreon. Um, I'd love to say I could find a sponsor, but my channel's so weird that I don't think a sponsor is a good fit. I don't know how, I mean, it would have to be a really good sponsor to uh, be interested in you know, uh, I, I build my, my channel as, it's all about freedom. Because basically every story I have is about some sort of freedom issue. Although it might be food freedom, learning how to grow your own food and becoming self-sufficient. Or it might be health freedom, like how to take care of yourself outside of this medical machine. You know, how to, how to really make sure that you're healthy even though you live in a poisonous environment. The uh, And then uh, my, my last category on my channel is, is like life freedom. How do you live a freer life? And these are things about freeing your mind and how you think and basically how to um, maybe live a little cheaper. I, my channel is a variety channel, but they're always circling around how to be more free. And because of that, like I said, I have to find the right fan base. And I am developing it. At this point, I'm on track to hit about 9 million views on my channel probably in the next month or two. And um, I'm close to 25,000 subscribers. So I'm hoping that's the tipping point where I actually start getting fans who, who pay attention and talk to me and, and uh, comment. So if you stuck with me this far, I really, really appreciate it. I would love to know what you're thinking about this. Um, again, if I get like one comment, I know that, okay, I probably shouldn't do Patreon because I can't even get, you know, uh, people to talk to me about this. If you have experience with Patreon and you think it's a good idea, I'd love to know what you're thinking. Uh, or if you have any other ideas on how to have your YouTube channel make money. Um, again, I think this would be a great way to make a living if I could just get it over this hump and start making decent money.